Hello, the other day my son reached out to offer you a free video showing some things you can do online to improve your presence. My name is Latrina and we've gotten around to making your video for e l Home Improvements. We hope that you enjoy it and that it's actually helpful. As my son mentioned, there's no selling in the video. We believe that givers gain, so we've made this custom video with the hope of bringing value and service to your business. It's our free gift to you. But your free gift to us can be some feedback. Just let us know what you thought so that we can continue to improve our videos. So let's get started. So what I'm going to go over is content backlinks and citations and why these are important website elements for you to have. I'll take a look at your company's online presence and make recommendations for improvement that I might see. So content is anything that's on your website. It's your words, your images, and your videos. You want to have at least 1,500 words on your homepage and at least 500 on your back pages. This will allow Google to learn your business, to find out what it is you're doing, and also to provide, um, put you in the search results when people are looking for the services, okay? The other thing that you want are citations. Citations are directory listings. Like in Google, Yelp, Yellow Pages is merely your business name, your address, and your phone number. You want to have as many of these on the internet as you can get and more than your competitors. Getting these citations will help you to rank well with Google. And then finally, backlinks are the placement of your website URL or website address on other websites. For example, if you are listed on Yellow Pages, LinkedIn, Wikipedia, Facebook, these are examples of backlinks. When your website is listed there, they're directing traffic back to your website. The more backlinks you have, the more popular your website actually becomes. In fact, to Google, they, they put high emphasis on how many backlinks a business has. A business with very few backlinks is perceived to be less trustworthy. But not all backlinks are created equal. So you want to make sure that you get backlinks that are relevant to what it is you do. If you're in the home improvement um, business, then you want to make sure those are the kind of backlinks that you're getting, okay? Not backlinks to auto body repair, for example. So before we dive into your website, which is gorgeous, by the way, I want to come over to Google just for a moment. So I did a search home improvement contractor, Silver Spring, Maryland. These are the organic keywords. People type in what they're looking for and where they're looking for it. So initially what we find are app advertisements at the top of the screen. You'll see um, these are paid advertisements from businesses. You'll also see Home Advisor and Angie listed here. So what I'm going to point out is two things. If people have ad blockers installed on their computers, they will not see these ads whatsoever. If they, um, if, if they don't have them, then of course they will. But a lot of people these days have ad blockers. The other thing about Home Advisor Angie, formerly Angie's Liz, Thumbtack, House, any of those, they charge the um, small businesses that use those services. You get charged for every lead you get, but that same lead is shared with four other companies. So all five companies are getting one lead and only one company, of course, will land that customer. So I try to share with small businesses things you can do naturally to your website to get leads, customers, and sales. This area that I'm sharing with you right now is called the Google Map Pack. And this is where Google lists who they perceive to be the top three businesses for the keyword search. In this case, home improvement contractors for Silver Spring, Maryland. So we proceed down the page. Um, Google continues to rank businesses. Ideally, you want to get your page, your website on the first few pages. As you move further away, you're not going to get the same level of visibility. People, if you think about the last time you did a Google search, most people don't go that far down on these pages. They're usually making decisions early on on the first few pages. And most times here, this area actually gets 30 to 40% of the traffic. So here's the fun part. Let's take a, a look at your website, which is, is very beautiful. I like how it's laid out. Um, very well done. Um, one thing I'm going to suggest, let's see, another, yeah, so one thing that you can do is add a contact us form on your page. Um, 
because a lot of times people are in a hurry when they get on the website. They won't call, or if they do call, they'll hang up before they leave a message, um, or they don't leave a voice message. So one good way to get leads right away is to have a contact form. It doesn't have to be an extensive one, just one where you collect name, phone number, email address. That way, when your free time comes, um, you can you can reach out to those customers who are actually looking for your services um, to schedule a consultation. You do have a schedule consultation button. Maybe put it here um, closer so that people can see it right away. And then let's see, you definitely could use some more content. Remember 1500 words on the home page. Okay. The reason that's important, it's going to help you to rank in Google. Um, you want Google to have an opportunity to crawl your page and grab all of your keywords so that they can put those in the search results. Okay. Right now you're getting only two your traffic is number two. So you're only getting two people like a day coming from Google to your page. Whereas one of your competitors, if you look at them, they're getting like 150. So it sounds like it might be a lot of work to add content, but it's going to pay off in the long run for you. Also, I would make your text a bit larger. Um, it's kind of, it's tiny. Um, and there's no reason for it to be that tiny. I would make it larger so easier for people to read. And then let's see, you have a lot of keywords though. You do kitchen renovations, bathrooms, decks and fencing, exterior renovations. So you have a lot going on that you can showcase on your website. So you definitely need more content so that you can highlight those things. Interior work. So this is an example of a bathroom remodel, I'm assuming. So let's see how you save that image, but you didn't save that image that way. It's just a random number there. So when you're saving your images, be sure to save them with keywords as well to highlight what it is you're, you're showcasing. So in this case, bathroom remodel, Silver Spring, Maryland. Okay. Bathroom remodel contractor, Silver Spring, Maryland. Deck um, builders or deck con um, contractors. Silver Spring, Maryland. It's always good to add the location as well for the photos because um, when people are doing a search, they put in a location too, okay? The location is just as important as the actual keyword, okay? So definitely do that. Um, let's take a look at your data. So right now on a scale of one to 100, you're ranking at a zero. Don't be discouraged by that because this can change very easily by just taking advantage of some of the things that I've given to you so far as far as content, backlinks, and citations. Your backlinks is very low. At one time, you had 261. Right now, you only have seven. Remember, backlinks are a measure of trust according to Google and popularity. If you have very few backlinks, then you're not popular and you're also less trustworthy. Same thing for your referring domains and citations. You want to get those up. And then as you will see, doing those things will make your traffic go up as well, okay? Again, this is what you want to be. You want to have more um, clients coming to your website, potential clients, right? Right now you're getting zero, zero, zero across the board. Um, you did recently rise to two, but that's still significantly low and you can close this gap quite a bit if you're able to take time and build out your website a little bit more. All right, so I'm going to end it here. I hope this has been helpful. If you have questions, please let me know. Otherwise, please give us some feedback so that we can improve our videos and do better for everyone who are making these for. Again, though, if you have questions whatsoever, please reach out. I'll be happy to answer any question that you have. In the meantime, have a lovely um, week ahead, and I wish you much continued success for any ENL home improvements. Bye bye.